Draymond Green, get the hell out of here. I think you're soft, buddy. And you pretend to be this tough guy bullying younger men like you did to Jordan Poole back in October. But when a fan is heckling you, because that's what he was doing, and that is according to reports also from a security guard and a police officer who was in the vicinity of the supposed fan who threatened your life, you little... I can't even use the P word on on YouTube, but that's what I think you are, Jordan. Uh, Sorry, (laughs) Draymond. Um, So during a game, if you don't know, Draymond had the referee eject a fan from the game accusing the Milwaukee fan of making death threats against him. Now, if you watch some of my last videos about this topic, I think the NBA has gone soft. Heckling has been going on throughout the NBA. Players do it to each other. And the fans do it. I do it. I wouldn't, I'm not threatening to kill you. I'm just telling you, you suck, you know. Um, But anyways, you know, and this seems to be uh, a new NBA soft league, as I would put it, where these players who are heckled by fans and can't take it, even though they're paid millions and millions of dollars, uh, some fans would say, oh, that's abuse and you wouldn't want that in your workplace. I'm sure most of us at some point in our work life have been verbally abused. If you haven't, you've probably been one of the fewer people that haven't at some point. Okay. Now, the fan who was ejected from the game has come out. His name is Mike Shane. He is an R&B singer. And he went on the KJ Live podcast to tell his side of the stories because he says that Draymond Green got it all wrong. And I'm going to read to you um, some of his words. He's underneath the uh, free throw line. I got his attention and I said, Draymond, we giving you a pass. Draymond yells back, what pass? Man, we giving you a pass. He said, you ain't shit. What pass? I said, man, we giving you a pass, Shane said on the KJ Live podcast. Evidently, uh, he was ready for it. He was waiting for that to happen, and he blew it out of proportion. Actually, I don't know how he could take that as a threat. So he's telling him, we're giving you a pass. So even if he was threatening him, he's saying, we were going to do something, but now we're not going to. But evidently, to Draymond that's a death threat. Now, we all remember how he punched Jordan Poole in the face, close-fisted, in a practice, and somebody who's supposed to be his teammate, and he didn't say anything wrong with it. He just thought it was two guys disagreeing, you know, so it was okay for him to punch somebody in across the face, but for somebody to say, we're giving you a pass was a death threat. Talk about a bully not liking when somebody stands up to him. Um, Mike Shane also said, we saw our little buddy getting bullied and we couldn't do nothing about it. So I'm sure for Milwaukee fans who... Um, knew Jordan Green maybe in his uh, high school, college days. Maybe they grew up with him. Or just knowing that he's from your city um, felt that Jordan was bullied and fans were left unable to do anything or show support. Um. So Shane wanted to tell Green, apparently, that while they hadn't forgot what he did, they were going to basically let him off the hook. And 
Again, Shane says, I was speaking up for the city of Milwaukee, basically telling him like, we're giving you a pass. We haven't forgotten about what you did. A big bully. And we haven't forgotten about what you did. We're giving you a pass. We forgive you. How do you take that as a death threat? Again, my analysis, dream on green, you're a P word. I don't use that word often. I don't like Draymond Green. Have no respect for him. Never can can appreciate some basketball skills, but as an individual, no respect. Tell me what you think in the comments about this situation. Do you agree with me and think that Draymond just took it too far and the NBA has gone soft? Or do you agree that they should be kicking these fans out? Oh, and by the way, the Milwaukee Bucks organization gave this fan some fan gear and some more tickets. So obviously they didn't feel what he did or said was inappropriate. And the fact that, that he had security and police officer vouching for him. I don't know what to say. Subscribe to Rovis France, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit that bell to notify you when I go on stream.